Hi, I'm PFC Aaron Boyle. Two and a half years ago, Aaron Boyle was a 21-year-old Army sergeant on patrol in Afghanistan. I took a step back with my right foot, and that's where I triggered a landmine. He lost his right arm and right leg. I thought I was in a dream. I woke up, took a look at it, and I was like, no, this isn't me. This isn't happening. Boyle had been an avid golfer and assumed that, along with so much of his life, that was over. Well, I put myself through the humiliation of golfing. So you didn't want to be out there? I didn't want to give people something to laugh at. To laugh at? You really feared that? Yeah. Aaron's father, Ed Boyle, feared that his son had lost the will to live. His mood wasn't good. He didn't want to be around. He didn't want to be around at all? A supportive wife and a new baby helped Boyle get through that period. So, too, did golf. <laughs> Boyle discovered the American Lake Golf Course near Tacoma, Washington. The course is entirely run and staffed by more than 200 volunteers, most of them veterans. It was designed with injured veterans in mind. Well, they make sure the walls of the bunkers aren't too steep and you can get up to the tee boxes and things like that. Jim Martinson lost both legs to a landmine in Vietnam 45 years ago. Had you been a golfer before then? Never golfed in my life. I thought that was the stupidest game in the whole world. <laughs> Not anymore? No, that is the greatest game in the whole world. <laughs> it's all on the legs. He tries to pass along that feeling of optimism to the recently disabled. What do you tell them? I tell them that don't let your life be over. Do whatever you want. Set a goal. It's a message that Aaron Boyle has taken to heart. You win some, you lose some. I don't care what people think. I love the game. If I didn't have the game, I don't know if I'd be the same person I am today. It's really made that much difference. Oh, yeah. All right. Drained it. <laughs> there you go. A difference that Boyle measures not in strokes, but in the distance he's come. Chip Reed, CBS News, Lakewood, Washington. <laughs>